Good morning, I'm David Kern with the CBS AM debrief this Tuesday the 6th of December. It's uh, just on 8.30 a.m. and in uh, overnight market action, uh, the U.S. was looking pretty good there for a while, but uh, apparently some disagreements uh, over how to uh, address the European debt contagion issue uh, saw the uh, some of the enthusiasm from the uh, U.S. traders uh, come off, and uh, consequently the Dow did close down uh, slightly, uh, albeit uh, about 19 points or 0.18 percent. Take a look at the uh, indices here now. Uh, the S&P was down. Uh, 1.5 or 0.13, so slightly less, and the Nasdaq actually ended up closing up 0.13%. Uh, the Eurozone, a little bit of a mixture there with uh, well, the FTSE up 0.43 and the DAX up 0.1, then the ending uh, rises. The Euro stocks 50 was down 0.45 and the uh, CAC down 0.04, and uh, Spain was. Uh, was, was Reflection on this debt crisis you was down west of all, down 1.25. Um, let's take a look at what we can expect in the local markets here. Okay, the spire was pointing up earlier this morning, but uh, now down two. So really a fairly uh, quiet day, and I guess we'll be uh, all eyes will be focused on the RBA announcement at, at uh, later on this morning, later on this afternoon rather. And uh, Hang Seng down 97, and the Nikkei 225 down 30. We want to have a look at our commodities now. Uh, natural gas, big move there earlier around 4%, currently 3.5. So just up over $4.50 there. And the clients holding the natural gas warrant uh, should be reasonably happy about that. And uh, hopefully we'll be exiting out of that trade for quite a, a nice profit there pretty soon. Um, moving on to uh, crude 89.11, uh, so brushing with, uh, with $90 there. Uh, down through our SOPs, uh, Coca up 4.43, big move there. Coffee up point, uh, sorry, 2.03%, uh, corn down 0.96, uh, cotton off 1.44. Uh, some of those are coming up pretty high, uh, high tops. Uh, frozen orange juice uh, concentrate uh, 4.88% and uh, wheat 1.8%, sugar down 1.66%, uh, oats up 1.36%, rough rice down 082 and wool up 13 to $10.25 a kilo, and copper back above $4 at $4.01 and uh, uh, 0.15, uh, that's a 0.3% increase. Gold making fresh new highs here at fourteen twenty five ninety, and silver at thirty dollars twenty two and a half. Let's have a look at our currency pairs here. The euro is buying one point three three zero six US dollars, pound one point five seven one two US dollars, and the US dollar is buying eighty two point six six five zero Japanese yen, and the Aussie battler at ninety. Uh, buying 98.98 US dollars. Canadians buying, sorry, the US is buying 1.0054 uh, Canadian dollars and US is buying 0.9819 Swiss francs. Take a look at the economic calendar. We had some data out of Canada on the Budget Managers Index. Uh, that came in at 57.5. Forecast was 56.4, and the previous was 56.7, so had a better number there in Canada. Then we've got some performance of construction index data out uh, in about an hour, and of course the RBA announcement I mentioned earlier at 2:30 this afternoon. Uh, forecast is that that will remain the same at 4.75, and uh, then we move into the early evening with the Swiss unemployment rate uh, expectations uh, that that will be. Uh, actually, forecast at 3.6 percent. The previous was 3.5. So actually, seeing a little bit of um, increased unemployment in Switzerland as the expectation there. And then we've got a series of data out of the UK around 8:30, and then factory orders for Germany out of uh, out around 10 o'clock at night. 
I'll take a quick look now at the Falcon Trader. Uh, it's just looking at the uh, Spanish IBEX 35 here. And we saw that that's recovered quite strongly. It didn't quite get down to that level there that I think I talked about in one of the previous AMD briefs. Um, but certainly has hit this 10,000 level and pulled back to now trade at 9,876. So I uh, can't see too much support or resistance between uh, uh, along this uh, level here. Uh, it's probably really going to be driven by the uh, sovereign debt issues in terms of how that market trades, I would suspect. It's going to follow up on um, one stock we've been talking about quite a bit, uh, which is Kingscape Consolidated. And really has done very, very little since we uh, since I first raised it, but um, is now hopefully consolidating to, to now make a move higher. Okay, take a quick look at the euro. We talked about it breaking below this in a upward trend line, which it certainly did, uh, but it's now closing uh, back above that, so we might expect to see that to work high from here. Aussie dollar, a bit of a similar story really. Um, so we've, we've penetrated that uh, trend line, now we're we're seeing it starting to work higher again. And it's probably worth well, not finishing up until we have a quick look at the US dollar index and see where that's how that's looking. And clearly last night with the uh, sovereign debt issue we've seen a little bit of strengthening in US dollar. And it would be my Thinking that just above this uh, 80 cent level here, this old level of support, might present new uh, resistance to the top side. So, thanks as always for your attention. I'm going to uh, leave it there and uh, see you next time. Happy trading. Bye for now.